It's Wednesday, or can I say friend day? I'm actually wearing a shirt with all my friends on it that was made for me. It's really cool. It's got Dr. Goldhammer on the back. I'll have to turn around for you to see it. But if this is my first time seeing you, I'm Chef AJ. Welcome to Chef AJ Live. I created this podcast, I believe it was March 20th, the first day that sheltering in place was a thing. And just to create a sense of community and connection, but it got tired of just talking by myself to myself. So I asked a bunch of people to come on, my friends, and many of them, and maybe most of them are plant-based doctors and chefs. But every now and then, we talk to somebody from my real life who's made a difference for me. And this is Kirk Kohler. He's actually the nephew of Aunt Cassie. I know you guys have been begging for Aunt Cassie to come back, but being a star of stage and screen, she's not always available. And what you may not know about Kurt is he actually designed my book. So if you have or have seen my book, The Secrets to Ultimate Weight Loss, he did a beautiful job designing both the front and the back cover in my favorite color, purple. And today he's really going to talk about how to start a home-based business. It doesn't have to be Tupperware. That's what he does. But he'll talk about some of those advantages because I've been hearing from a lot of people now that are stuck at home and that aren't working, that they'd like to be able to do what I do, which is basically work at home. And I'm teaching a full on course on that starting in June, which if you're on my mailing list, you know about, but a lot of people said, but I don't want to, I don't want to commit to something that big. So he's also going to show my favorite Tupperware tools because I have a few in my Amazon store, but it's much better to get from him. We're not here to sell you anything. We're here just to tell you how, if you're not happy with your work, maybe you want to consider working for yourself because at least you'll know who your boss is going to be every day. So please welcome my friend and Tupperware extraordinaire, Kurt Kohler. How you doing, Kurt? Hey, AJ. It's so good to see you. And I have to say, I've been watching some of your videos lately and you look younger now that you're in the desert. I know, because you know what it is? It was stress. It really is. And, and the thing is, is I, I recommend to everyone to, to do decrease the stress in every way. And I think when you are your own boss, it is a great way to decrease stress. I just want to say, if you're watching and you aren't subscribed to me on YouTube, I would love for you to do it. Because in addition to this daily live show, I do a bunch of recipe videos. And yesterday I did the most delicious coleslaw I've ever tasted. And I don't even like coleslaw. But if you're not subscribed, those recipes don't come to you automatically. So, but thank you so much, Kurt. I do think the desert agrees with me i just turned 60 actually what you know there's a couple there's a couple of videos where you wear your glasses you look like you're in your 30s wow well then it's then i'll then i'll wear them then there we go oh, they- <laughs> <laughs> i only wear my glasses when i want it i only wear my glasses when i want to see <laughs> right um well uh i mean i'm i'm here to talk about um you know it's we're in a time of people that are finding themselves unemployed. And, uh, you know, during the last recession, I found myself unemployed, um, working for other people and always having that, um, you know, nine to five grind somewhere. And uh, it, I was selling furniture, I was doing graphic design. I mean, I went from one job to another job. And right before the recession, 2008, in 2006, the company I was working for uh, just without well i saw it coming but then the day they let me go it was without warning and um and and you're you're you go into a little bit of depression when when that happens even though you're not depressed that you left that job there's a depression of not having that every day um you know nine to five grind so uh i was working with comedy as you know, Chico's Angels is a show I produce and direct and write in LA. And um, my business partner on the show is his character name is Quesadilla. Um, he does, uh, he was selling Tupperware and he, you know, I was looking for a job. And I, I think, I think part of working for yourself um, scares a lot of people. Uh, <laughs> you want that boss to tell you what to do, but you become the boss. And you, the more you put into it, the more you can make. Where if you're working for any company that isn't really promoting you, they just want you to do more work. You don't do as much work as you could possibly do. You're just doing as much as you need to get paid. And I found out when you work for yourself, the more you work, the more you get paid. Um, and uh, I discovered Tupperware, and um, you know there was things about Tupperware I really loved. And I know you do too, AJ, because you use it a lot. Um, and the fridge smart part was the part that got me because my pr- produce was always going bad. Um, but when you love something, um, y- you can be your own boss. 
and you can take over. Uh, and what that you, you're you, you're a perfect example, of Chef AJ. Um, you you always were a cook, and now you found a better way um, to live and eat and plant based, and um, and you share that with people, and you share your recipes with people, uh, and and it's changing people, and it and it and it's created your own business. And uh, with Tupperware, if you you know if if you're a, if you make friends easily, uh, Tupperware is a good 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 business for you. Um, and right now, everybody's eating from home, and everybody is cooking all their meals. So um, even more so, our food storage is more important. So my business is working better than it was before. And I will do, uh, and Cassie, we'll do a Tupperware party with you very, very soon, Chef AJ. We'll do one, you know, sometime. Um, but because we can't go anywhere, um, whatever you decide that you want to do as your home-based job, your, your studio is now YouTube and Facebook and your apartment or your house, it's wherever you are. And you, trying to think of what I was going to say with that. Um, I, I used to have to, for Tupperware, I used to have to go to people's houses and I had to lug all this stuff and drive an hour and set up and take orders. Uh, but now um, I do that all home right here in this kitchen. And as a matter of fact, um, rather than just doing one party in one night, I piggyback three or four hostesses on one party and, and do the work of four parties. So what's happening now with, with being at home is um, learning to adapt and learning to, uh, learning to grow. I mean, um, I don't know if, I, I mean, what, what would you say, AJ, that, you know, when you're at this whole thing of being locked down, I mean, have you, have you discovered things about, I know, I, I know you've discovered old photographs because you posted them. <laughs> well, I discovered I just love being at home more than I ever knew. I always knew I was a homebody, but I didn't. I mean, of course, I don't want anyone to be sick or lose their job. No, I understand. No, no. I'm not that, and so I always feel bad saying how much I love this because this is where I'm meant to be. I thrive in captivity. I, I'm, I, people assume that I'm an extrovert because of my job. I'm not shy, but I am an introvert and I like being alone a lot with me and Charles and the new hummingbird and Bailey. When I'm around people, I get very anxious and stressed and my energy gets drained. So I, I, I'm i more productive than ever. Like I, I can't believe I'm doing one to three shows a day and I have like a real job that I'm still trying to do. So I think people will really get to know who they are during this, like, and you know, they'll, they'll, they'll know. And I, you know, and I feel bad because the people like Shada that are the extroverts, these people are suffering because they want to go outside and play. And uh, so, but I, I know this will pass. I mean, I already know it's, it's things are starting to open up and things like that. But, yeah. you know, I, I think the idea of working for home, even if you're an extrovert, it's so great because like you said, you were laid off when you rely on other people for a job you may not get it. But when you give yourself a job, you're always going to get the job. And I remember, you know, this is, I'm going to tell this story if you don't mind, Kurt. I don't think a lot of people know this, but people are begging me to have Charles on. He's more shy and introverted than me. But I will tell you the story of how we met because I learned this in a business class. So I was trying to be an advertising copywriter in the in the 80s and early 90s because I, I graduated from Cal State Northridge with a degree in speech communication and a minor in marketing. And I loved making up slogans and I love copywriting and I, I still have my book you know we have the photo and the clever uh, the clever caption and I went to Pittsburgh and I interviewed to, to, to work for this company and I could not get a job as an advertising copywriter it's very difficult it's like being an actor it's like you know there's all the it's a very creative job and it's very hard to even get in as a junior copywriter unless you're really great it's not like there's an ad in the paper like looking for you so I took this class with the executives I forget what they're called the creative the head guy it it was called B -B BBDO in Los Angeles. And uh, he was telling people how to become a copywriter. And he, in this, this was in 1992. And he said, if you're trying to get a copywriter job, you're not going to open up the Sunday times and find the job. He goes, you have to create the kind of situations and be in the kind of situations where people are going to want you for that job. And then, but this is what he said, and this is why I'm married because I was 32 years old and it, 
Time Magazine had come out with a story that said, if you're a woman in your 30s, you are more likely to be kidnapped by an Iranian terrorist than get married. That's And I figured, okay, well, I'm never going to get married. But then what this guy said, similarly, if you're a woman in the 90s, you're going to have to create the kind of experiences to create the kind of people you're going to want to meet, meaning the Prince Charming is not going to show up. That stuck in my head. This was in August of 92. I took a cooking class with somebody who turned out to be Charles's older sister, and we became friends. And that uh, around Thanksgiving, we exchanged Christmas cards. My Christmas card had my photo and my dog, who was Scooby at the time, and her Christmas card had a bunch of people on it, including Charles, who was very handsome, and his brother, who looks just like him. And it's a good thing I chose Charles, because I, I called her up and I said, who's that guy in the photo? And is he single? And she goes, it's my brother, Charles. And I asked for his number. I asked him out and the rest is history. So I think taking control of your destiny, whether it's your dating destiny or your working destiny, especially what this is showing us, because we don't know what the future is going to be for anybody in business. I mean, think about people that have restaurants and, you know, soup plantation closing. So whether you become a Tupperware person or not, you don't have to do that or whether you take my business course, but the idea of being in control of your income, I think is so important now more than ever. Sorry for yeah. the long story. Oh, no, no, no. no. That, I mean, that, that it, it's, it's those kind of stories that, that, you know, inspire people to go, oh, you know, why don't I take that risk? And, you know, it's so sad to hear about soup plantation. So <laughs> it's, it's already, it's, I, I used to go there twice a week or once a week, you know, like I love that place um, uh, just because it felt like you were getting a lot of raw vegetable. Um, but, um, you know, on, on top of that, you know, I look back at things in my life where you do take that risk and you do take that jump and then it snowballs like work begets work and and when when i think of like when i wanted to be an actor moving here i was working at an agency i had an idea for a short film i couldn't get into a film or an audition to save my life um i asked a friend who was really excited about producing something and i was scared to ask her and i said you want to produce my short because she wanted to be in it. That's what she wanted to be in it. I said, you can be in it if you produce it. And then we're on the set and all these people are doing all their jobs. And I, I remember that day walking into that set. We were at a video store, uh, not too far from my house right now. And, and it was, it was a, it was a moment of realization that I, I, I willed this to happen and I made it happen and, and, and things like that, you know, and you have to fail to succeed. Sometimes you have little, hiccups um but those are not to those are not to get you down those are just to teach you they're just teaching moments so um uh, and the same thing with 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 tupperware i mean when i first started um i saw how great oscar was doing and uh, i thought it was just gonna it was just gonna be like that like i had a job and it was it was a lot more, more work and i realized oh i have to put work into the work it's just not going to hand it to me um so you you i mean it's not a 40 hour week that's for sure um but i had to put in an hour a day and it was great you know when i do that it 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 snowballs and um and for instance this month like i have eight new recruits eight new people under me in tupperware that want to sell Tupperware or they just want the discount. I haven't decided or found out which. <laughs> Sometimes mm -hmm. they just want the discount. Yeah. Oh, um, Louis but, says, oh my God, are you Cassie? I went to one of your Tupperware parties during the quarantine and was wanting to reach out to host a party. So by the way, if you're watching this and want to host a Tupperware party, maybe you don't want to yes. get in your own business, please reach out to Kurt. Yeah, we're allowed to tell people you're Aunt Cassie, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Aunt Cassie Roll. And you can go to Cassie Roll on Facebook. It's R-O-L-L-E. Um, Cassie with an I E and just, uh, you can book any of my dates, um, with Tupperware parties. It's like it now, and that's the thing is a lot of your fans wanted me to come out to Ohio or Texas or Nebraska. And it's like, well, I go to New Jersey and California. Um, uh, but now I I'm everywhere. Now I'm everywhere once a week on the weekend. It's pretty great. So you can have, you can host a Tupperware party and get free Tupperware. So maybe that's, maybe that's what you need. You need to organize your kitchen. Um, why not do it for free? Why not get that stuff for free? Um, uh, when you host a party, um, you know, as the hostess, you, all you have to do, you don't even have to clean your house. You can show up in your underwear. I, I could be in my underwear right now. You have no idea. Me too. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I'm waist down. I got nothing on. 
Ah. <laughs> Just, ah. See, I we're, miss we're, you. We're, Guys, we're, Kurt is one of the few people in LA, and if you're one of my friends from LA, don't take it too personally, that I really miss hanging out with because he's always, you're always so positive and just so kind, you know? And I miss going to class with you. Well, that's who you are, too. You're very positive and outgoing and kind. I'm not that's why kind, but... <laughs> you, 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 moved, you moved two hours away. You used to be right down the street in Sherman Oaks. Okay. I know. Uh, hey, hey, just just on another subject before I forget, Heather says your your skin looks beautiful. What is your secret? My secret is my ring light. <laughs> <laughs> I have a ring light too. Yeah, they are good. <laughs> it's glamour, and you know, I, I you, these are things that you buy um, if you're going to be doing a lot of online parties. Or I do an online class because I teach um, audition technique for actors in LA for TV and film. So it's something it's not it's it's not a huge investment i mean i think i paid 100 bucks for it but i think they're cheaper than that now um and people do them for demos um as a matter of fact oh there's a little tiny one too i don't have it right here that just has a little light and then it has a little connector for your phone so that you can keep moving the light and keep moving the phone and um and you could do it like that too you know, um, we, but, have, we have somebody watching that was a Tupperware, a person in the 70s. I'm trying to find her post. Oh, again. that's what Aunt Cassie uh, is. <laughs> yeah, Sharon Collins said she sold Tupperware in the 70s. Well, you know what, Sharon? Aunt Cassie is a lot like you because Aunt Cassie has not left the 70s. Um, she has big hair and uh, and um, polyester clothes. It's fabulous. Yeah. Um, but... <laughs> But you again, know, the, you let, let's to... talk about how you created Aunt Cassie, because this is important for anybody in business, because in my opinion, the, you know, that what, what I learned in college is the riches are in the niches and that, oh, yeah. you know, it, it, your differentiation of having that character come to the party, it, it's, it, it makes a difference, doesn't it? Just sort of like, because yeah. I learned about you from, from D, DWI, who, who does in drag and and he was like I think he's the number one Tupperware salesperson in the world and it makes it just so much more fun and engaging for the guests than somebody just saying well here's the chopper and here's the right well I do like I said I, I write and I'm an actor and I do a lot of comedy shows here in LA and Ann Cassie was born out of um you know I was working with a lot of drag queens so Chico's Angels is a Latino Latino Charlie's Angels in drag and so, but it's not about drag queens. It's about actors and it's about comedy and script. It's not, it's not RuPaul's Drag Race, um, but we're more fabulous uh, and more funny. But with, with the character Cassie role, actually my husband came up with that name because I was just doing a, a character named Louise. Uh, I know someone just called in was Louise, right? <laughs> Louis, my, my original character was Louise Klemp and I did her like for a monologue for a showcase thing. And uh, she was born out of my babysitter and my um, my Nan Kohler and my grandma novella. So they're all from New Jersey. I grew up in the 70s. Um, it's they're people that I know. So just imitating them, it, it comes out. I just do it. Uh, but I don't always like I do this, too. I do Kurt Kohler um, cook, cooking with Kurt where I'll demo something is just me um, because sometimes, you know, Cassie, you know, she's a diva. So <laughs> she, you, you understand AJ, the life of a diva. Um, <laughs> and uh, Cassie Rowe was born out of uh, family members and my babysitter. So, and she, she's kind of taken on a role of her own. And, um, and uh, you, when we did our stand up comedy, Back in the day, the other stand-up comedy show that we were in together with AJ, uh, I talked about how she's taken over my life, and people are more interested in her than me. And you know what? If my ultra ego is who I have to brand, then that's who I have to brand. But, um, but I, but I enjoy performing. So I think that's why I worked well with Tupperware. Um, other people that are under me, they enjoy cooking, uh, and they enjoy. Um, organizing uh, i wish i were more organized but tupperware helps me get organized um and uh and and as for my skin i think aj you know aj's rubbed off on me a lot i'm not a complete vegan but i yet I, yet, I, yet we're yet, still gonna get them yet, yet but i've gotten rid of pork i've gotten rid of beef uh i'm almost out of chi getting rid of chicken that i haven't had that in a while actually 
um, and uh, and it and it's and I it less salt, less oil, and I, I do eat a lot of plant based. So it it does. And you know, I was just watching one of your original videos the other day about the two pounds of greens, and oh my god, it's what a difference! What a difference! Like it just kind of sheds off. So yeah, if everybody um, would do that, regardless, I just because it's they have those thylakoids which make you not hungry and stop the cravings for sugar, and they make your skin glow, and they're just so protective for Alzheimer's. I just wish whatever people ate, they would also eat two pounds of vegetables. Their lives would change. So yeah. Dina Marie wants to know where where in New Jersey are you from? I'm from Haddon Township, New Jersey, right by Cherry Hill, across the river from Philadelphia. Um, but I lived in New York too. I went to school in New York, and uh, I, my mom's still there. My family's still there. I go back. I, I'm sad I won't be going back this year for Christmas. I don't think, but um, uh, I go back every year, at least once or twice a year, and I do parties there too. And so I went all the way up to Bristol um, in PA for parties while I was home. Uh, but again, I was only doing one party at a time, and now I do three or two at one time. So, and I don't leave the house. Yeah. Uh, and well, and I will. I'll say this too: is um, you know, depending on who, wherever you want to, what kind of business you're into, if, if you have some kind of skill or something that you really love, you can actually start teaching it or or making things on Etsy, um, and and making videos about it. Um, people want to see, they want to see you do it. Um, and, and I think, uh, oh goodness, I keep losing my train of thought because I keep looking at this thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, but anyway, it's, 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 it's become uh, something that you love and I love performing and I'm getting to do it while I'm in quarantine. And at the same time, I'm staying in business and I'm creating businesses for other people, which is really, um, that, that means a lot when somebody really needs, you know, uh, a job um, or at least uh, a lot of times some people just need an extra job right now because um, they've got a lot of time on their hands. So they're, they're wanting to try something new. What's the time commitment? Because I remember I was a pampered chef consultant and, you know, it was so interesting because I was like really good at the cooking part and I was able to position myself is the one that did the vegan parties, but I really wasn't good at the selling part. And I never could, you know, do the amount of parties they wanted. So what is the risk? Like, what does Tupperware say? Like, do you have to sell a certain amount to, to be active or? Uh, it's so little actually to be active. Um, I think, I think it's something like $350 in sales in four months, which is $350 in sales is a third of one of my parties. So, you know, you could do it in one party and, and probably sell more. Um, and, and, and the way you, I, I mean, here's what would happen if you, if you wanted to, to join Tupperware, what you would do is you would, you'd sign up, get the kit um, and have a grand opening party and a grand opening party just means that's inviting. This is where people get scared. They're like, Oh, well, I, I don't want to ask my friends and uh, they have, I know these people might not be able to pay for things or buy things. Um, you'd be surprised what people need right now. And, and what what's even better is you, you, when you ask the people you know, you tell them to bring a friend. And with through, through all those people that come, one or two people are going to book the next party and you're going to go through all of their friends. I, I it, it just keeps growing. It's funny. I, I thought about this recently when I, I got scared of Tupperware at one point, I'm like, didn't I, did I do everybody? Did I meet everybody? I think I met everybody in California. <laughs> I thought I did so many parties. I'm like, isn't everybody sick of me? And then I was flying home one time and I was flying over Arizona and I was flying over uh, California and I was just looking at the, the, the land. And I went, there are a million houses I've never been to. You know what I mean? So you start to, you start to close off that this world is so small, but the world is huge. And, um, and that's how business works. I mean, and, and being in business for yourself, you, you know, you, you just, you go one step at a time. And if you fail, you get back up and you go again and you go again. Um, I've, I've had a, a different business that I tried one time that didn't work. Um, but you know, I, it, it didn't phase me, you know, I just moved on. So, um, but Working, I, I just to say, working for yourself is um, the the time commitment is 
it's it's like an hour a day i want to say i mean and you don't have to drive anywhere um, you don't have to spend money on gas if you live in la you don't have to fight the freeway there's so many advantages i don't, having a home I don't even business. have to buy the. we used to have to you have to buy the 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 catalogs selling tupperware so i used to have to buy them to take them to parties um, and I would try to collect them back so I could take them to the next party. I don't even have to do that now because I'm not meeting anybody face to face. And as a matter of fact, all the catalogs are PDF files. You just email them or you go to my website and you can flip through them. What you is know? your so website? I'll post it, it now. Um, it is Cassie Roll, and that's C-A-S-S-I-E-R-O-L-L-E dot my dot Tupperware dot com. And you can contact me there or Facebook or Instagram, Cassie Roll or Kurt Kohler. I'm everywhere. Yeah. Um, but the, I think a Facebook page is really important um, for your business because you can you can start a, a page. You can start uh, not just your Facebook, but you 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 put a page together of, of your business um, and invite people and put up whatever you want, information you want to do. I, I want to say that I get called throughout the week so yeah you're all you're that's the thing is you're kind of always on call but you're not always at work <laughs> you know they my my husband's working from home he works in the office at warner brothers and um you know working at home has become so great for him um and uh in sweden they they is it sweden they they got rid of fridays so they condensed the work week because there was so much there was so much um non-productive work in those hours because there's downtimes but if they squeezed them together in four days they got more productive and they got a bigger weekend so um yeah we don't have to work nine to five it's it's a myth myth yes uh <laughs> so that's a that's a joke from the muppet movie if anybody remembers uh with carol kane anywho um <laughs> i you know i love tupperware and you know i you know all those parties i, I didn't get anything for it i had too much i mean we donated it you know when we what, yeah. what we did is because i hosted a bunch of parties with ann cassie and i didn't need any so what we did is at our conferences we would just give it away but i do love it and i use it and i use it in my videos and like yesterday the video well, actually today it was posted the coleslaw that i showed you that thing that sliced the jalapeno that is the best it just is the best mandolin I've ever used in my life. I, I, it, because when I go to the poke bowl restaurants and, mm. and you have those grapes that are sliced like paper, I, and that mandolin, you can't hurt yourself. And it's like, it's like 20 bucks or 25 bucks. And I just don't see other products like the ones that I have on Tupperware or the thing that I use to, to, to do the garlic. Maybe you just show Chef AJ's favorite products. And again, if you guys want to buy anything, you can, but you don't have to. We just want to show you some of the cool things they have. Well, this just so you know, too, I mean, Tupperware is not sold in stores. And and um, and the thing about Tupperware is uh, the U.S. has certain standards for um, how much color of plastic and plastic that can leak into your food. Can you believe that they allow enough leakage of that? Um, and in Germany, it's much stricter and Tupperware is even stricter than Germany. So it's the most purest plastic you're going to get. There's no color leakage. There's no plastic leakage. Do not reuse or reheat anything that came to you from takeout or, um, you know, throwaway containers because they're not meant for that. That's where you're doing a little harm to yourself. But um, but the plastic's guaranteed never to crack, chip, or break, and they, they replace it, and they've been doing it since the 40s. Um, you were asking about the mandolin, right? You wanted to see the big mandolin. Yeah, that one's very cool because it makes water, waffle fries. But that little one that that I use for the jalapeno, I think you showed it. It's called the Speedy Mando, I think. Yeah, Speedy Mandolin. So the small one, this is for very small jobs. And like you were saying, poke bowls and things that you want things really thin, um, really slice small. Um, it's perfect um, because it's and, all and you can't have... you can't cut yourself on that one. That's what I love no. about it. Because see where your fingers go? Your fingers go into this little cup. So when you're pushing down on this part, you put the food in here, you push down on this part, your fingers are only going to go in this little plastic part. It's never going to get cut off. I've heard horror stories of like people slicing their fingers. The oh mandolin. my God, absolutely. Like, where did you get your mandolin? Uh, <laughs> so this comes up a lot. Gina's saying, but she's not sure about storing food in plastic. Some people worry about that, but gosh, I've been using Tupperware like we've always my whole life. Well, that's the thing is I would be afraid if it wasn't Tupperware. 
Do you know what I mean? Like, uh, because you're, you're buying things that are poorly made and cheaply made, um, where Tupperware is the Rolls Royce of, of storage. And we have storage for the freezer. We have storage for the refrigerator. We have storage that goes from the freezer to the microwave. And it's, it's a special plastic that's not going to do anything bad to your food. Um, we have ways of cooking your food in the microwave that are, you know, Tupperware on the uh, surrounding uh, metal so that your, your food doesn't, nothing happens to your food in the microwave. Um, but, you know, there, I mean, there's the other, other thing is, is glass. I mean, if people want to use glass, they can, but I'm somebody that takes my food everywhere. Glass is very heavy. It's very hard to travel with glass on airplanes. And if you ever have jury duty, they'll take it, they'll confiscate it. You cannot bring glass into the, into the, uh, into the courthouses. Yeah. Well, yeah. And, 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 uh, on that, on this same note, you know, glass breaks. <laughs> um, if you're, if you're out by your pool and you're in the summertime or you're in your RV, um, or you're on vacation. I know Chef AJ takes her Tupperware with her on vacation or trips because you need to cook in your uh, in your hotel room. Um, so it, it, it's just it's it's convenient and and at the same time it organizes everything. But this one um, is my is the big mandolin that uh, Chef AJ was asking about because she wanted to make the waffle cut fries and. Um, it makes every kind of slice, but it also makes waffle cuts. Um, there's two blades, um, very easy. Uh, and then the, the second blade comes with a blade protector so that you're not gonna cut yourself reaching for it later. Um, but they just snap, they just snap into place. Let me show you. It's hard to do it holding it up in the air, but let me put it down. Debbie says, I just bought a bunch of Tupperware. Love it. Threw out all my cheap plastic. Yeah. I, I, yeah you know, if you don't want to use plastic, don't use any plastic, but definitely don't That's, get that 99 cent store stuff. Right. Well, here's the, um, here's the mandolin. Uh, it snaps into place right here. You just push, push the sides together. Well, you just push the side. It's been in here for a while. I got what what Kurt? What's the most popular Tupperware item in general, and that you sell? Uh, Fridge Smart. Um, the Fridge Smart. Actually, if you join this month too, the Fridge Smart set. Um, everybody buys this because it keeps your vegetables four times longer in the refrigerator because there's three different breathers, and each one of these has uh, a, a dial for each of the breathers. So. Um, some need more air, some need no air, some need medium air. This this set is normally $96, but when you join Tupperware in May, um, you're gonna get a coupon to buy this set for 15 bucks because you're a Tupperware lady. Uh, nice. <laughs> um, that's my biggest seller and the bowls too. I mean, the, that's a bowl. As you can see, I hang them. You have these in purple, I think, right? I do, um, I have purple, that's I bowl. love it. Um, the thumb hole, it's granulated on the inside. Uh, I, I literally toss salads in here every day. I'm always making something. If I'm, if I'm roasting vegetables, I throw them in there with a bunch of spices to move, mix them up and then I put them in the oven. Um, I can't believe that this is not opening. Hold on. Karen joined this month. Karen, do you mean you joined the Tupperware team or you joined my podcasts? Oh, Karen did. Yeah. Hi, Karen. Laurel says, I'm a flight attendant and always have Tupperware in my lunch pail. I tried glass way too heavy. I would love a suggestion for meal plan container. So that's a great suggestion for a uh, question from a flight attendant. What, what would she, for? she needs something because she's a flight attendant. So. What? Right. So crystal wave is probably the best thing for you. And I would get the round containers. Round containers are virtually airtight, liquid tight. So um, all you have to do with the, um, this is a rectangle one. Um, oh, it's one of my regular ones. Um, you just keep it sealed in the refrigerator and when you're carrying it, but then when you're going to pop it in the microwave, you just vent it. So it's for reheating, not for cooking. It's for reheating. So just a couple minutes to heat something up, um, but it's going to steam it. Uh, and another thing, um, you can get square, but I, I, I like square for the refrigerator more than I like for carrying. That's all. And you can get them with divided dishes so that they're separated, your food separated. It's not gonna touch anything. I know my friend Ray out in Texas hates when his food touches anything. Um, he won't eat it. Do um, you put Tupperware in the dishwasher or is it better to wash my hand or does it depend what the piece is? It depends on what the piece is. Um, if it's small enough, I would put it on top rack. Um, 
there's so many big pieces of Tupperware that really clean very easily. Like my steamer, I just a uh, soap and sponge because it, it's very it's very um, non porous, so it it cleans really quickly. Um, but your Tupperware definitely top shelf. Put it on the top shelf because you don't want it to melt. Now, Tupperware is guaranteed never to crack, chip, or break, but we don't guarantee against melting because you should know that plastic melts next to heat. <laughs> we just can't do it. Anywho, um, this has is there the, ever this been is a the, Tupperware? Oh, I want I want you to show that and excuse me for interrupting, but has there ever been a Tupperware product that maybe came out that just just didn't fly? Yes. Yes. And you know, this is the thing. Um, I at my at my Tupperware parties they'll put stuff that's on sale and I'll show what's on sale, but if there's things that I don't like, um, I don't show them. Um, we used to have these things with the expandable tops and they're called stuff it's or stuff, I don't know, stuff more. Um, and I, they just don't seal, you know, they don't seal very well. The round ones do, but then they came out with square ones and I was so upset because I really wanted square, I like square. Um, if, if it doesn't work, um, and someone's buying it that's talking to me, I will tell them what I think. Um, because I just don't, I don't want you to come back going, oh, I hate this piece now. You know, I like to warn you. Um, <laughs> I like to warn you what's going to happen because I use all this stuff. And, you know, what's great is using my own kitchen is I used to have to pack a bag of demo stuff and put that in my car and go. I don't do that anymore. I just go to my cupboards and pull everything out. I'm like, all right, here we go. <laughs> let's, let's do my party. Um, but anyway, I hope that answers your question. Thank you. Um, anyway. oh, yeah, show, show that because so I have one piece of Tupperware and I have not been able to figure out how to use it. And you were saying well, you saw Shada uh, make something. Well, Shada just did a uh, spiralizer with some spiralizer machine. I think it was like, uh, like electric or something. But um, this is my spiralizer. Poo, 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 poo. It looks like a ray gun. Um, you get the base separately because the base goes on to a shredder. It goes on to uh, other pieces that make sorbet. Um, this piece is my spiralizer. So it literally slides right into the, into the base, but the base is used for all the pieces. So you need the base and the top. This is the spiralizer. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna push my camera down so you can see me. Yeah. Do Kurt, this. Kurt, I have a question. I think I know the answer, but from Shauna, uh, she says she loves both of us. Do, do you offer a Tupperware version of a Holland bowl and Mezzaluna for chopping big salads and veggies? Do I offer a, a, a big bowl? Okay. So, so I'm a, a product that I have is called a Holland bowl from Michigan. It's this big wooden bowl and we use it with a, a tool called a Mezzaluna or an Ulu to chop a huge amount of vegetables uh, to make salads. Does Tupperware have an equivalent of that? Um, well, you would probably chop the hell out of our bowl. Uh, <laughs> we have a big mixing bowl, uh, fix and mix bowl, but it's not meant for cutting into, I don't think. Um, those are like specifically for wooden or that really thick plastic. Um, you could do it in your that's a bowl, but you're gonna you're gonna get lots of cut marks in the bottom. It's already granulated, so it doesn't have scratches in that bowl. So you can use a mixer, you know, like a hand mixer or anything, um, and and a lot of you know mixing with by hand. But um, I wouldn't wouldn't recommend it. Um, I could try it. I should try it. I like chopped salad myself. Um, but no, I don't make it at home. I usually get it out somewhere. But anyway, so this little guy, the base sucks to the bottom of your thing here by locking it in place. See, I'm going to show you how I lock it in place. So AJ, take note. Do you see this little guy around the sides here? As soon as I'm put down on the ground, I'm going to lock this into place. Oop lock this into place and it needs to be um, a flat flat surface. Uh, the the piece I put in here is my ribbon cutter. So it comes with several, you know, I can I can make uh, the long spirals um, like um, shaded it. I can do thinner spirals. I can do uh, thicker spirals. Then I can do a big ribbon cut. And these two, this part means it goes into the bottom because it's got it's got a little spot that it snaps into place. And you just Click, click it into place. Um, this comes with the uh, rest of it right here. This is gonna go inside here. 
with my potato or my zucchini, whatever I'm going to use. Um, but I want to show you, this comes off here at the end. You push, you push these buttons for the blade to come off. That's for, that's for cleaning it so that you can clean it afterwards. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to spike whatever is on the, on the end. I've got this potato. Uh, I'm going to spike it right in here. I'm going to cut this little end off because I want, I want a little bit of a flat start. So I'm going to stick that potato in here, like so. So now it's got the grip, and I'm going to push it to. I'm going to push this in here, and then I'm going to lock this in place. So not only is the base locked, but now this this part is locked. And let me grab a little plate. Hold on. Kirk, De Debbie is uh, suggesting. What about? Are, are there some scissors that could work for cutting a salad and making a chopped salad? Oh yeah, we do have those. I'll show you that in a second. Um, so uh, now I've locked this in place. I've locked this in place. I'm just going to spiralize. And, and I'm gonna show you a ribbon cut here because I can make this and put this in, in the- um, Air fryer. Air fryer. Oops. All right, I gotta hold that. But as you can see, it comes out, and we did a beat at your party, AJ, and it was so good. I was like, I gotta, I gotta make more, more beats. Hold on, I just got unlocked for a second. All right. So I'm gonna spiralize, spiralize, spiralize. Oops. But it has a little pokey hole here, on the end, so I can put the stick in here if I had to put a stick in here, which I'm doing. Oh, it didn't stay on, it didn't stay to the base. But anyway, I want to show you what that looks like. This is like they do at the fair. And you can cook your potato now in your air fryer. And if you don't have a big air fryer, um, I have I have the I have the one AJ had, that little round one. But um, if I need to go into the oven, I bought a copper one of these and I just put these in here. And I do that for uh, making French fries in the oven also. So, um, but you can make a beet, uh, any root, any, any, uh, um, anything that's hard, you can make a, a nice long uh, sweet um, dessert with, uh, but that's my spiralizer. Now, if I wanted to, I, I didn't cut the whole thing because I want to show you the other, the other blades. So as you can see here. So I if I wanted to do it, that would take, I could use a beet in that, right? A, a beet oh yeah. And butternut squash even. Oh yeah, anything you can, you can spiralize anything you want. So um, now uh, I've got this. Okay, now I'm gonna make um, push that in. I'm gonna lock this in place, and now I'm gonna make um, shreds. Is that, can you see that? Yeah, that is so cool, and it's not electric because I bought an electric spiralizer, and it just it just I couldn't get it to work. So now. I've got shoestring fries for the air fryer. Um, but again, uh, beets are really good. They, they get a little bloody and a little, it looks, it looks like there's blood because it's the, red, the beet red. Um, but those, we, we had that at your house and it was so good. Um, anyway, there, and there's another one. If you want them thicker cut uh, than those shoestring, then, you know, you can make more, you can, there's three different, three different little guys here. And they, they're just so easy. To, uh, are you, are you able to do that now, AJ? Do what? The spiralizer, because you were like, I don't know how that works. No, there's just know there's two locks. Now let me show you how it comes apart. So we've got this. We got this lock here. I'm going to unlock it. I'm pulling this out. The potato fell off. That's going to go into my veggie stock or my compost. Um, this is going to go into the to clean. La la la, and. And this is going to go to clean, easy, easy. I unlock the base. I slide that off. Ta-da and ta-da. Um, it's really easy. I love this thing. Wait, let me put it over here. Put too much stuff over there. OK. I'm going to make sure that doesn't fall. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, you're watching my belly. Uh, that's shrunk a little bit. Not much, but it has shrunk a little bit. <laughs> I know people are saying about quarantine 15. I'm like, I'm, 
I've lost seven or eight pounds because I've just been eating. I have been eating more vegetables, um, but I'm not eating as much during the day. Like I'm not snacking on anything. I'm not buying snacks because I don't want them in the house. I don't want things that are not supposed to be eating. I'm just snacking on apples or oranges or bananas. Yeah. Yum, yum, yum. Chuck Raw for Life says, I want that spiralizer. I have a cheap one that doesn't work. And so I barely lose it. And I agree because they have one that's really cheap at Bed Bath and Beyond. And I, I, I can't, I think it's called the Vegetti. And people always cut themselves on it. So when I go to Rancho La Puerta to teach, I'd rather take a good one like the Tupperware one because I know it's guaranteed and, I, I, and it works. Well, sometimes if it's, if, it, if you have to have a good counter though, you have to have like a flat, it can't be the, it can't be the tiles. It has to be big tiles so that that can fit on it. Um, but I put a little water on the base and it'll stay in spot. It'll Once I lock it into place, it'll stay there a little bit. It's like more suction. I love this little guy. Nice. Do you guys have any questions for Kurt? Any actors out there? You could take his, uh, you, do, you, do you teach your, uh, is it called um, a cold reading prep. class? It's called the actor preps. Uh, it's Mondays at, at 11.30 and at 7.30 p.m. You can be anywhere in the U.S. Actually, you can be any in the world, but you have to be at those times. Um, and what I do is I send you audition material on Friday, like a guest star and a co-star, which a co-star are one-liners, a few lines, and a guest star is a bigger part where you're an actor, usually doing a scene scene. Um, you have the weekend to prep. You come to class and, you know, you it, it's getting that muscle. A, a lot of people who are actors don't understand that, uh, you have to work out, not just like the gym, you have to work out every week doing this muscle of learning a new scene and being able to jump into it with script analysis and, and performance. So, you know, I, I think one of the reasons that people are, are losing so much weight in quarantine, those that are, is because they're not going to restaurants. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Uh, it's, it's, it, I'm sad. There's a few. There's a few restaurants that closed right before quarantine. I'm very, very sad, sad that I saw them go. And not that they were the healthiest choices for me. They were a diner that I just like the people. Um, but um, yeah, it's pretty sad when you see that happen. Yeah. But anyway, but uh, not to not to be a downer, right? Um, but with 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 being home, you're learning how to make the things that you really liked. Anyway, um, I'm gonna put this in the oven for lunch. <laughs> do, do you do you, do you all you Tupperware people get a, get together every year for like a big convention? There is one that we won't be able to go to in Orlando in August called Jubilee, and then we usually have two smaller ones that are more local to where you are in the country uh, in the spring and in the fall. But everything has gone to online, so we'll probably have a big Zoom Jubilee, and and those things. Um, are, are really, it, it's like going to a convention. So if you were in business for say hardware, you'd go to a hardware convention, right? Or something, you're like trying to find out what's new. Well, that's what you do with Tupperware is um, each, each month we have a unit meeting and I'm about to start having my unit meetings because my unit just got, <laughs> that's what she said. Uh, my unit just got bigger. <laughs> so, uh, I have more people under me. So each month I'm going to have a little, mm, yeah, half hour, a little thing to just go over what's new, what you can earn. That's another thing about Tupperware. Not only do you earn the commission or get um, bonuses, um, there's bonuses on top of the bonuses. There's trips to be earned. Um, there's a trip to the Bahamas or uh, Canada you can win when you get to certain levels of, of being a director. I'm just a star manager. I'm about to become an executive manager in the next week, but um, there's so there's perks for, for consultants and managers joining. Like if you started selling a lot, you could win an iPad. Like who who does that? What job, what work, sign me up to a job out here that's gonna sign me up with nothing and go, we're gonna give you an iPad in two months if you, see, if you sell this much. You're like, what? D didn't Kevin like win a car or something? Yes, yeah, so did Oscar. Oscar got a car and he sold it eventually. It was a convertible, but they also have the company car like Avon used to do where they loan you the car. Um, is it Avon? Was it Avon that did that? Or Mary Kay with the pink Cadillacs. Tupperware at certain levels, uh, you can actually earn a car that they pay for and they pay for the insurance. 
uh, as long as you are earning a certain level. And I, I, I really don't know any company that does that. Part of that was- Heather that, says, who doesn't love having a bigger unit? <laughs> I know. I I heard that when I was saying, I'm like, I can't say this. It shows that it just shows that our Zimunity here is listening. Gisela says, "Do I need to participate in a Tupperware party, or can I order a Tupperware online anytime on their website?" Well, if you're going to order it, why not order it from Kurt? Yeah, anytime on my website at cassieroll.my.tupperware.com. I would suggest this if you're going there for the first time. uh, The first button is shop online, but the second button is catalogs. I would go to catalogs first, so you can flip through the catalogs. Uh, You can watch my videos on Vimeo or YouTube and watch me demo as Aunt Cassie roll, because sometimes you won't know what you're really looking at when you look at the catalog. But if you know what you're looking for, it's easier to find in the catalog to just be able to thumb through it. Then you can order online, because I feel like people get lost a little bit when they go online. They don't know which so how do we find your Vimeo at? channel? I, I didn't know you had a Vimeo channel. So tell me how to find it and I'll post it. Oh, I got to figure out how I do that. It's, it's, uh, I've been posting the videos on Facebook, but they go to Vimeo. I didn't know I could have a Vimeo channel. So why don't you, why don't you have a YouTube thing. channel where every week you just do a recipe I, showing something? I can help you do that. I, I do have a YouTube channel and I do have videos up there and yes, I'm going to be doing recipes and I'd love your help. Um, I love what you're doing because I think, you know, you're, you're jumping all these channels at the same time. And I'm like, Oh, wow. You know, there's, there's, there's so much I have to learn and I'm still, you know, you're never going to not, I don't think there's any time in your life, even when you're you're like close to retirement um, that you stop learning. I mean, look at Norman Lear. He's 97. And he's still making TV and he's still learning how to do it. That's <laughs> you know incredible. What I mean? What's the, who's the oldest Tupper? And what, you can't call everybody a Tupperware lady anymore because, but so who's the oldest, what do, what do you guys call yourself? Do you have a word for yourself? There's consultants, managers, directors, um, team leaders. Uh, but we're, I, I like to say Tupperware lady because it's classic. It's, yeah. it's what people know. So and, who's and, the and, oldest one? Is there like an old, is there somebody not, I don't mean like the oldest person, but is there somebody that's like literally been doing this for 50 years? I, you know, a lot of people that I, that I do my unit meetings with, uh, around here have been doing it for about that long or 30 years, even, um, it's, it's, because it's been around forever. It's, you know, the interesting, here's the interesting thing, ladies. Um, Tupperware was was, inve- was invented in the 40s by Earl Tupper. He didn't know, like, I don't know if you understand the seal, which, you know, they lost the patent in the 80s because it was 50 years, but the seal was actually a paint can upside down. That's how he figured out how, like, how can we, we save paint? How can we, can't save food? And so he figured it out and he put the, he put the seal upside down from the paint can on the bowl on top of the bowl and it's sealed. Um, he put that in stores and someone named Brownie Weiss saw it. And she said, um, Hey, I've got this idea. I, this is a really great product, but walking by it, I have no idea what it does because no one's ever done this before. Why don't I try and sell this for you? Uh, you know, household to household. And she grew what was the Tupperware party. So Tupperware was never sold in stores again. I think we, I think they tried to sell it in Target in the 90s or something and it didn't work out. Um, but, but Brownie Weiss came up with the idea of, um, and I agree because when you do look at the catalog, you're like, well, what, what's the difference between this and this? And, and unless you're being told or demoed, you're going, oh, okay, well, I need that. I don't need that, you know? Um, I do more of this. I, I do more freezing. I do more batch cooking for the week, um, whatever it is. Uh, I love I love batch cooking, and that's why I have a ton of I have a ton of these crystal waves because when I cook, I put them in here and I put them in the refrigerator, and I just take them out each day like a TV dinner, only made by me with love. Well, I couldn't agree more. I'm a big fan of batch cooking, especially for people that are trying to be healthy and lose weight. Yeah. And vegetables and lots of vegetables. I batch cook all the root vegetables and it's, it's that way I'm having potatoes and greens all week. Um, yeah. You know, what's so funny. I'm, I'm so happy that you had told, told us this AJ, because, you know, people have told me to fear potatoes. And I feel like, <laughs> I feel like ever since I started eating potatoes, I started losing weight. So <laughs> why would they tell me that? What were they trying to get me to buy or eat? Cause I'm like, that's not working. 
Absolutely. I'm trying to find, people are asking the name of your YouTube channel and I'm searching and I can't seem to Cassie find Rowe? it. On YouTube. There's no Cassie Rowe? Oh, I was looking, I was doing your real name and there is somebody with your name. Oh, there should be a picture of me. Okay, there you go. But but it's called, but Kurt Kohler's the name of your channel, right? There's one that's Kurt Kohler, but there's also, I think I have a Cassie Rowe one also. All right, I'm looking. Oh, you were going to show those those scissors we can use. It might to, be Aunt Cassie roll. To chop our salad. Yeah. So um, these are really great scissors. They have a little lock right here in the middle. These are older than, than the ones they have. And there's a couple, I think they have two styles now. Um, but I love these scissors. I'm, I'm using these for everything in the kitchen. Um, uh, I don't want to use them for anything other than the kitchen because I'm using them for food. But um, there's also a, there's something here that's like a stripper. Do you see that right there? Do you see how there's an indent right there? So if I'm going to, if I wanted to put some, um, if I wanted to strip some uh, herbs, I could just put them in here and um, there's something else on here too, but there's, that's the lock. Yeah. It looks like you do have two YouTube channels. So I'm going to suggest maybe you combine them because it could be a little confusing. Yeah. I'm going to need, I'm going to need your help on that. See, I, I need you, Chef AJ. Well, take my business class. I'll post the link. <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's what I, people don't realize like, this is my fun. I actually have a job. This is like, this is my, these are my peeps. Now we call it Zoom, Zoomunity is my name for it because we all met on Zoom. And I love that people are becoming friends with each other here, like actual friends. And I love seeing the, the same people on all the time. I could say your names, but you're all the same people. I mean, I, I recognize your names now. And some of you have little circles that I can see your face and some of you don't. I may as well tell you who's on tomorrow. We're going to also talk a little bit about business tomorrow and have Justin Bellamy on at one o'clock. And it, it, before you say, oh, it's not a doctor, it's not a chef. This is the guy that invented the vegan cruise. This is all because of him. And uh, it's pretty cool. And then Friday, we have the grandfather of the plant-based movement or the father of the plant-based movement, none other than T. Colin Campbell. So that's going to be pretty, pretty cool. And then over the weekend, we've got uh, we've got two cooking demos for you from really fabulous. I mean, these are like top chefs like in the world. So it's going to be, we've got, I got, it's going to be great. So thanks so much for being here. It's really, really fun. And, and as you know, uh, you know, Flatlander was saying he couldn't, he wasn't notified of the show. So I posted the link to be on my mailing list so that that's how we send it out in advance. But starting June 1st, it's always going to be at 11 a.m. We did a poll on YouTube and actually 3 p.m. came in first. But because we have a way to figure out who's watching from where, if we did 3 p.m., none of the people watching in Europe can watch. Now, of course, people in New Zealand and Australia could, but we have more people like in England and Ireland watching. And so 11 a.m. came in second. So we went with your second choice. And uh, and that also works better a lot for the doctors when they, 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 they prefer that time. So thanks for coming whenever it is. So what else you got for us, Kurt? Uh, I, I just started cooking my potatoes. I started lunch. <laughs> nice. Well, I'm going to have that coleslaw that I showed at the beginning for part of my lunch. And then I have some potatoes in my breville. I've got the. Have you ever tried the Japanese or the Hannah, the, the sweet potatoes that I like? Yes. I had them at your place. I feed you right. <laughs> she does. You know, when I went to Chef AJ's in the de de desert, I brought a little gift of um, I love the vinegars at all of a sudden. And so I always stop there when I'm out there to grab a bunch. And so I got her some and I got you cherry and you went, here's a really great recipe for cherry soda. And I was like, it, my mind was just blown that yeah. I could have vinegar and soda water and make cherry soda. Didn't know. Yeah. Absolutely. And cherry's good and peach, lemon, and palm. I had pomegranate yesterday. That's really good. I wouldn't put the teriyaki or the sweet heat in soda <laughs> water, but any of the fruit flavored ones. Yeah. Stay away from teriyaki soda. Yeah, it doesn't sound so good. Well, <laughs> all right. Well, so guys, this is my friend, Kurt. So every now and then you'll see just friends and things like that. And hopefully one day when he comes back on, he'll be fully plant-based, but he's getting there. And, he, and one of the things he's learned is potatoes are your friend for weight loss. And whether you want to be a Tupperware person or just maybe have a party or even just buy a piece, why not get it from 
one of the nicest people I've ever met. And, and by the way, oh, yeah. Leslie Haas says, I love Kurt Kohler. And Leslie, when are you going to be doing a cooking demo on love this show? You never got back to me. And uh, you're so welcome. Thanks for being here. And, and also, actually, I just had somebody ask me for a book designer, and I'm going to refer you to that. So let's let's create community here. If you guys have some business or something, you know, post it here and say what you do, you know, and maybe you can find people here that uh, in our community. So yeah, AJ, I love this book cover. Who did that, by the way? You did. And, <laughs> and, and it wasn't retouched. That's the thing. I mean, I, it was, you know, my professional photo that I get bashed for on that vegan deterioration channel, that was, that was lit. And that was retouched. That photo was not retouched. The only retouching you did was remember how my sleeve was like really weird. Oh, and right. I asked you to please make it not so puffy that, yeah. There was no retouching on that photo. So just saying in case you want to make another. That's, that's clothing retouching. That's not skin right. retouching. Exactly. And we didn't, we didn't do that. So I'm proud of that. So I'm, oh, so, so you, you, it, Simone says she's going to look for a Tupperware person here in Canada. Cause you can't really work with Canada, right? Yeah. It, it, we're, our company is uh, U.S. and Canada, but we can't do Tupperware parties um, or consultants over the border. You guys have a, a separate, um, Actually, you guys have the same catalog, which is weird, but we don't, I think you have a different plant that, um, I guess, gets everything shipped there. Nice. Well, it's always great catching up with you. And thank you guys for being here and come back every day because I'll be here every day. So I want you to be here every day. That, I, I hope when with this um, sheltering stops, we can see each other again. And yes. uh, and uh, and let me know about it doing uh, Chico's Angels. If, if you guys ever get a chance to see his show, it is the most hilarious live show you'll ever see. So if anywhere you live, you can see Chico's Angels. Make sure you do. Yeah. And go see AJ. Instead. She's going to do stand up this weekend. That's right. This Sunday. I hope I'm as funny in person as I am in my head. <laughs> All right. Thanks again, everybody. Take care, Kurt. See you guys tomorrow at 1 p.m.